in the name of god who is most gracious and most merciful i am zubair khan and you are watching my vlog israel listens the echo of ahmadiyya muslim jamaat peace message this is the topic on which this short video has been prepared in pakistan anti ahmadiyya element always raise this point that pakistan has not recognized israel but look at ahmadis they are present in israel and carry out lot many activities now someone should explain to these short sighted pakistanis that religion islam and its sacred book holy quran is for the guidance of the whole mankind of the globe and it is not restricted to benefit only to pakistanis similarly pakistanis have to be explained that due to its international preaching activities in palestine the ahmadiyya muslim jamaat was established in 1924 while the israel came into being in 1948 since the creation of the israel by the grace of almighty allah almost 3000 local inhabitants have already entered the fort of the ahmadiyat Majority of Ahmadi Muslims live very peacefully in the Israeli city of Haifa and in its surroundings. Current head of Ahmadi Muslim Jamaat in Israel, Mr. Sharif Oda, is very energetic and pushing personality. After the Hamas attack of 7th October, he is constantly making tremendous efforts to restore peace in the area. on 20th december 23 he once again in the big hall of ahmadiyya muslim mosque haifa organized an event which was attended by more than 400 local jews at this occasion he explained the basic principles of islam true teachings of islam about jihad as well as he traced all the details of hamas and israel war He told to the participants very categorically that killing of thousands of innocent children, women, and elderly people can never bring peace in this area. He explained to the participant that in the light of Quranic teachings, unless absolute justice is ensured for everybody, peace can never be achieved in the society. In a very bold move he told to the participants that in 1987 while adopting the policy of divide and rule the Israel by itself created the Hamas so that extremist and secular muslims keep on fighting with each other without disturbing the Israelis he also told that few years back it was realized by the Israeli rulers that the policy of divide and rule and creation of Hamas was a blunder and now what happened on 7th october it was the result of the blunder committed by israel itself after having explained all the details he answers lot many questions also which were raised by the participants in his concluding remarks head of amdia muslim jamaat israel mr sharif ode once again stressed that assurance of absolute justice for everyone tolerance for each other and love for all and hatred for none are the only golden principles of islam which can ensure peace in this area now when we compare the ahmadiyya head of israel with a with the pakistani religious clerics like mr fazlur rahman sirajul haq saad rizvi and tahir ashrafi we do not find anyone having any courage or boldness to tell to pakistanis what is real truth prevailing in palestine it is said that boldness and courage come only through truthfulness now after listening all these details viewers can judge by themselves who has the truthfulness and who can be called bold and courageous <laughs> אז יכול לוותר, אם זה בבית, אם זה במשפט.